If not because of social media, tell me, how can the world hear the voice of the masses? How can the world hear the voice of the voiceless? How can the world hear from poor people who don't even have money to be on the pages of newspaper, to come to the national television, to talk about the pains of the masses? If not social media, how can people report about insecurity challenges that even government could pay the national televisions or newspapers not to air them or publish them? The recent comment by Professor Olesho Inka saying that barbarians has taken over social media is something that we have to talk about. It's something that we have to deliberate. Because this age, I call them Abacus age anyway, this age that is ruling Nigeria, that has held Nigeria in, in ransom. When you talk about the leadership, the security architecture, the banking and so on and so forth, there is this age, this age of Tinumbu, Olesho Inka, Obasanjo, then Buhari, then IBB, go on. Those ages that has led Nigeria before, they are the ones causing this problem, Nigeria, because these people's mentality is not meeting up to the standard we are having today. However, I am glad that Rufai Oseni of Arise Television, during the Arise TV morning show, has opposed to this. Listen to what he said. Uh, moving on, as regards what President Wolesheng said, I disagree with most of the things he said. Number one, anywhere in the world, there is no clear on intellectual base in social media. Social media was set up for by people to be an alternative source of media and what becomes the editorial benchmark of social media is algorithm and let's get that clear because we get too emotional about things like that i do not subscribe to people that say all sorts of things that are wrong against other people or defame people on social media but the truth has to be said the reason why people put social media there the founders is to be able to hear the voice of those you will normally not hear in society. Mm. So it's not an intellectual base. If Professor Wolosheng is saying it's an intellectual conversation on social media, social media is largely for wahoolens and all sorts of, you can call it a cultural thought and process, but it's also a thought process. So this idea of elitism on social media does not cut it. It is mostly a renegade form of media. And I'm sure Professor Wolosheng Inka Remember strongly during the struggle against Sonia Abacha, there was a Kudirat radio too that said a lot of things that the government too will say is derogatory for them. But that was the quest and that was the championing of the cause they needed to do then right. after the June 12 elections. Right. So let's not forget that. And let's get that out because I keep hearing this social media. Me that I'm talking, have I been abused many times on social media? You've yes. been trolled a lot. I've and and what do you feel? How do you feel about those that trolled you? See, uh, what do you consider yes, them as? a lot of the reputational damage and all of yes. that is hurtful. Right. But for the fact, the things you can deal with, you deal with. The ones you cannot deal with, you cannot deal with. So them. you just ignore them. So you just ignore them yeah. largely because it's not a reflection of who you are. Yeah. And I know that... But, but there needs to be media, some sort of control and there needs so, to be so some sort of control, mannerism. And I guess that's what he's... Hang on a minute. The control will come from yeah. the companies that own the social media and their algorithms. Mm but which they are not ready to do because of the revenue they are making from your participation on the platform. Well, all right. So let also, if Professor Washington is going to direct this, he has to also direct it to the company that makes this. And in the end, the troll, the abuse, the fight, the, eth the eth ethno-religious banter on social media, mm -hmm. is a reflection of our society. That's what our society has but become. But it, it shouldn't be accepted. So it should, it should be not condemned. be accepted. It should and be it should condemned. be condemned Absolutely. totally. Let's That's what we are saying. Well, all right. Any slave that does not rebel does not deserve pity. Let me repeat that. Any slave that does not rebel does not deserve pity. If we do not have people who are opposing the government in a civil way, those who are opposing the government policies, who are accusing the government and challenging them in all ramifications, Tell me, what sort of people are they going to call this generation? That government has even borrowed and destroyed the destinies of people and unborn children to come. That, oh, citizens should keep quiet. They should just be lawyer. Nobody should come to social media and talk and so on and so forth. You see this kind of, you see this kind of thing this man is saying. Recall that I don't really know what transpired then. It is Professor Wolosoenka that people said he took gun and went to a radio station to bend up somebody. I don't really know what transpired well so then. So now, we can't even talk about that the government is incompetent, that their age has destroyed Nigeria. 
we can't talk about it. We should just be loyal and, you know, we, we are we just being like sheep, being led by the shepherd to the slaughtered house and they will continue to kill us. No. History has demonstrated that revolutions has happened and it will happen in Nigeria. Is it not this kind of life government or this kind of thing government is doing? Watch out and see. As far as what um, civilians are doing on social media is a form of civil report and civil disobedience, there is nothing wrong against it. So, Professor coming to say that um, Barbarian has taken over social media indirectly is calling government maybe to put laws, to put sanction on social media so that somebody like me and you will not have access or right to come out on social media to begin to talk against the government. Hello, Professor. In this age, it will never happen. During your age, it, it happened. So, the age you are seeing today has nothing to do with the Abacus age. Things have changed. But it's unfortunate that Nigeria is not updated. Nigeria is far, far, far behind in everything. Everything Nigeria is far behind. In military, in economy, in policies, in governance, in everything Nigeria is far behind. Why? Because people who are leading us are behind. People who are administrating us, they are people that are behind. Abacus age. These people don't have any value to add to the nation, but they still come out to prove that they know everything. The first generation of computer was Abacus computer. The people who manufactured or who invented that Abacus, you know, system of counting things, they call them professor then. But today, if you use that kind of thing, they will call you timid. So a professor of yesterday could be timid today. Let this thing sink into your people's head. Let this thing sink into every political appointed and everyone in leadership position. Everything you people are doing today is outdated. They are doing transportation. Look at the, the trains they are doing. Locomotive train. Train that use diesel. Why countries are doing not just electric train, but high speed trains. Nigeria is still, you know, constructing railway for gas. We are so behind. Look at so many countries are doing election where citizens will be in the house, they will vote. But in Nigeria, they will tell you that there is no network in Sokoto, that people in Sokoto don't have a phone. People in this age, something is definitely and dangerously wrong with Nigeria. And the causes of all these things is this leadership mentality. Leadership mentality. Very, very bad leadership mentality. That if a youth come out, if you come out to talk, they will call you that you are you are disobeying, you, you are this. They call us fascist because we spoke against how people were threatened not to vote in the 21st century. Professor came to the national television to to call us fascist. Said people have hijacked um, the nation. This way. he started saying all sort of things. I was looking at this man. Here we are. Look at the insecurity. Look at the trouble. Look at the battle we are facing here and there. Is the country progressing? If you are trying one thing, it does not work. You change it. 